Most of the matter around us is either solid, liquid or gas, but there's something called the fourth state, plasma, that has remarkable properties. Can we use it to fight diseases? Scientists working on a European research project use plasma to modify physical properties of various surfaces. For example, plastic wells normally repel liquids, which can make them difficult to use. But after the plasma treatment, liquid sticks to the bottom and the sides of the wells, making them much better suited for medical analysis. Plasma looks beautiful, but how does it change the surfaces it comes in contact with? And plasma enthält Plasma contains a lot of reactive particles, ions, electrons, radicals, and all sorts of other excited particles. When they come into contact with a surface, they change the surface properties, both chemical and physical. One of the researchers' goals is to pass this know-how on to industry. Plasma treatments can become an attractive alternative to current production methods, which rely on using large quantities of solvents and other chemicals. Many different industries could use this. It could be used for diagnosis of bacterial diseases, diagnostics for tuberculosis and HIV. But also for medical packaging and wound dressings. This machine applies two thin stripes of chemicals on a roll of a synthetic textile specially treated with plasma. These stripes will change colour once in contact with certain antibodies. It's the main component of innovative rapid tests for tuberculosis and HIV developed by this enterprise. We use a very simple film, which is plasma coated. We um, mount that simple film in the cassettes. We can devise even simpler type of cassettes. So no further manufacturing membranes, wigs, uh, microfluidic or any kind of system is needed. Uh, we just put a drop of the serum of the blood or the urine on this test. We put the second drop of the reagents and after 10 minutes we remove it and that's it and you see a positive or a negative results. So the material cost has gone down, the mounting cost has gone down, the manufacturing cost has gone down, and the greatest advantage is that the sensitivity of test is going to be higher. In Belgium, large-scale prototypes demonstrate how plasma treatments can be integrated into industrial workflows. This machine uses plasma to cover a piece of synthetic textile with an extremely thin film, turning the fabric from hydrophilic into hydrophobic, useful in wound dressings and other products. This technology, we are really working on the nanometer scale. We're producing coatings with nanometer thicknesses, whereas in wet chemical uh, coatings, which is maybe an alternative, uh, they're mainly working on micrometer scale, using much more uh, chemicals. Less harmful solvents mean cutting production costs and helping the environment, while fully controlling whether products absorb or repel liquids.